Welcome to Grover Load. I'm Anthony, and going through some of the CES announcements, I came upon the Blue Eddy that I've been following for a little while, but there's been some interesting stuff in this uh, CES announcement that I kind of want to dive into. And I'll go through a little bit of their entire announcement here, or their entire stack of products that they came out with, but I want to focus on... Uh, some of the new technology that they actually showed off, which I think can be um, a huge help. As some of you may know, I do have a solar uh, array on my house. So, you know, batteries are something that I want to add on at some point. And, you know, the safety of the batteries, the reliability, and everything else kind of goes into that. Um, and also making sure that they are renewable in a way that the batteries are easily recyclable and I don't want something that um, for me is a huge cost to the environment to like mine out the minerals right I want something that's a little bit more renewable in that sense um, able to be recycled and reused because you know batteries degrade so if I'm replacing those batteries I want something that's hopefully a little bit cheaper long term and more economical um, and through the whole lifespan so First off, what we have here is the Buetti um, has the AC500 and the B30 or 301, which is their, um, seems like a whole like stack of, of batteries and you know, you have up to 36.9 kilowatt hours stored up here, up to 10,000 watts. So it's a nice battery system. In fact, something like this, I would be interested in like my little shed area or something where it doesn't have power to it and you know maybe hooking up with some solar panels and stuff like that it would be a good option um and there's not a lot of crucial stuff in there it's a, it's away from everything else right it's not that close to the house so you can charge this multiple different ways ac charging there's a turbo charger where you can do ac and solar so simultaneously charging which is a i like that benefit now if i was to have it it would only be the solar because that's all I really have out there. But you have that option if this is something that you want to like maybe charge up before, you know, there's like a rolling outage or something like that in your area. Then you also have, um, scroll down, I, and so I'm going to just gloss over some of these because, again, I want to get to what I'm really interested in here. And, you know, if, they ever, if I ever were to get my hands on one of these uh, Blue Eddy, items i will definitely test them out and show you guys you know something for, for me is you know for like this like this one this is really small 600 watts 268 watt hours it's 10 pounds which i think this would be great i have um acreage here around my house and for me to go and go other places you know a generator would work too but this is a lot lighter something i can charge up take out to different places and just use i like i'd really like something like this to be able to really you know provide power in those areas where i would need it and it's not feasible to actually carry a generator out there right um when you have, it's just a bigger property so it's you know if you need a pump or something right i'm always operating on batteries tools etc I'm not, uh, and I buy battery tools for that reason. Or I'm using um, like gas powered tools currently. And this wouldn't replace a gas powered tool, but this was going to be something. Let's say I need a pump or a, um, or some other electronic device out there. I can then you would use this to be able to power that. So these are some unique options that something at only 10 pounds can do. Now, I, I really I have to say I really like it, right? It can be, they say they can do 80 to, 0 to 80% in 20 minutes. And um, it competes with a Jackery 250. So it's that entry level. And plus you can then support up a 200 watt uh, solar input. So this would also be something that you could literally put in my shed, put the sol their solar panels up, have it charged, and be off to the races, right? Um, another thing, like in my shed, I have, you know, batteries to start up, you know, my lawnmowers, 
and uh, other items in there as well. And those batteries uh, in the wintertime, right, aren't being used. So I like to keep them topped off, right? I have a, I have a solar fence as well that in the wintertime it gets taken down. Well, this would be able to help keep that battery topped off in the wintertime with a, you know, a battery maintainer. So these are some of the things that I think about of, oh, that'd be super useful. So something like this, again, it's, I believe it's lithium ion as well. I don't think it's lithium, or no, it's uh, lithium phosphate battery pack. So um, not lithium ion. So there, there is that. Now let's scroll down to the one that I'm really interested in, which is the Buetti NA300 and the B480. This is the sodium ion. Now, one reason why I like sodium a lot better than um, lithium is that it's much more readily available, a lot cheaper. Now, there is a downside, right? The energy density is not the same, right? You have lithium, you can pack a lot more um, capacity into these batteries. So this really doesn't compare to the other size units that they already have out, which is a downside. But for me, I do... Um, my own research, I do like the safety side of it a lot better. Now, according to Buetti, they're saying it's the same safety. Um, I disagree. We could go into that some at some point, but I'm going to be more focused on this. Now, the overall cost should be cheaper too, or cost of efficiency, right? Because these are, sodium is way more readily available. You don't have to ship, you know, like lithium halfway across the earth just to get um, or all the way across the earth, depending upon where you are. It also has much better low temperature performance. So if I needed something like this and it needed to be, you know, in my garage or, you know, let's say I did put it in my shed, it would have much better operating temperature. You know, right now, in the last 24 hours, we've gotten down to negative 12 degrees Fahrenheit here. So even though it doesn't really operate that well, even at that temperature, lithium is way worse. And this would be one other benefit as well and you also get the fast charging capability so you can actually put a little bit more energy into these cells and charge it up a little bit faster than you can with lithium you know lithium you do have to be conscious of how much you're putting into there at, at what current right there's there's those options as well so you, you know you have the main unit and then you have the side units as well for that expandable power which to me, right, I don't have batteries currently in my house, but th something like this is very attractive. If it can be set up, um, I would actually like it to be set up to be able to actually be like a whole house backup in some way. Now, that may, you know, I don't need it for extended period of time well, in the winter time, right? When the sun actually is coming out, it would be able to charge. Um, that doesn't always happen. I need to do a better job of cleaning off my solar panels as well. But that's a, another story there. But this, I mean, to me, this is a very interesting product that I am very excited about, right? This is, you know, you're starting to get into a cheaper battery. And while right now it doesn't have the capacity, you can get where it has a little bit more um, ability to create because it's sodium and not lithium, right? Your footprint of where that lithium comes from versus where sodium is and which one's more abundant, right? Lithium's a lot more limited than sodium is. So you also have that limitation and you're getting some other benefits out of there. Now, there have been cases where certain people have said that this, that you can, you know, have better renewability with the sodium ion battery packs over lithium. I'm still doing my research into that to see where it is, but um, also reducing the price of the batteries actually makes this more attractive for entry and i think that you're going to have more people that want to jump on board when you have you know bigger systems that can do you know bigger sections of your house and say okay the price is now in an a area where i'm more able to you know slap down the money and afford it so let me know what your thoughts are let me know um what do you think of these new um, sodium ion batteries and about the other products that Buetti came out with as well? I think that they are much, uh, much better. Um, or 
much better. I, I like the way the products are kind of coming out because it gives an opportunity for different entries in the market and really expand the platform and coming out with new technology. That's something I'm always very interested in as well. So with that, I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you for taking the time to make it through this video and help support Gray Overload. I really appreciate it. And until next time, God bless. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.